As James Mago Gately parked his car at a Topaz petrol station on Klonshock Road, he remained unaware of the ominous black Lexus gliding to a stop beside him, its windows concealing its occupants. This car held a peculiar past, once part of the Pakistani embassy's fleet before changing hands for a bargain price of 3,700 euros. Little did Gately know, this vehicle had been tailing him since the day before. In a sudden burst of violence, the Lexus's driver sprang into action, closing the gap between their cars with swift determination. Five shots rang out without warning, captured in stark detail by the station's CCTV cameras. Amidst the chaos, Gately stumbled out of his vehicle, collapsing onto the unforgiving pavement. The assailant wasted no time in fleeing the scene, heading towards a rendezvous point in Dramiskan County Loud. With calculated efficiency, the hitman and his accomplice orchestrated the destruction of the Lexus, erasing any trace of their involvement. Meanwhile, Gately, despite the grievous wounds inflicted upon him, managed to summon help, directing the authorities to his location on the station's forecourt. Miraculously, he survived the assassination attempt, owing his life to the foresight of wearing a bulletproof vest. Although four bullets were intercepted by the vest, one found its mark, striking Gately in the jaw. The motive behind the attack became clear as rumors circulated of mob boss Daniel Kinahan's desire to eliminate Gately. The Kinahan cartel orchestrated the shooting as part of their vendetta against Gately, linking him to the Regency Hotel murder, despite the lack of formal charges against him at the time of the attack in May 2017. Let's delve into it. Kalen Smith, a 25-year-old with a relatively low profile in Gately circles, first appeared on their radar due to minor offenses like attempting to siphon diesel for his petrol car. However, his involvement in the botched hit on Gately revealed him as a significant player, strategically deployed by the Kinahan cartel in their ongoing conflict with the Hutch faction. Smith found himself embroiled in two of Dublin's most perilous gang conflicts. As law enforcement intensified efforts against the Kinahan cartel post the tumultuous Kinahan Hutch feud of 2016, vacancies emerged within the cartel's Dublin operations due to arrests and members fleeing the country. Enterprising individuals like Smith quickly rose through the ranks to fill these voids, becoming key assets in the cartel's operations. However, despite Smith's reputation as a seasoned gunman and his involvement in numerous shootings, he wasn't the Kinahan cartel's first choice when they targeted Hutch associate James Mago Gately for assassination in 2017. This attempt marked the second in just over a month that the cartel had tried to eliminate Gately. Initially, they enlisted the services of Estonian hitman Imre Arakas for the job. Arakas was flown from Spain to Dublin on April 3, 2017, but his plans were foiled when he was apprehended by law enforcement before he could carry out the assassination. Gately, who had once trained in boxing under Daniel Kinahan in Spain, had been residing in Northern Ireland due to the hefty 500,000 euros bounty on his head. Ericus was subsequently sentenced to six years in prison, with authorities suspecting direct communication between him and Kinahan concerning the assassination plot. After Ericus' arrest, Smith assumed responsibility for hunting down Gately on behalf of the cartel. Now on their payroll, he established a base at Pierce House in Dublin city centre, taking extensive precautions such as installing bulletproof windows out of concern for reprisals from rival factions. Smith's conspicuous presence in the area initially drew the attention of law enforcement, largely due to the ostentatious jeeps he frequently drove. Moreover, there were suspicions that he used his time there to recruit young individuals for involvement in gang conflicts, particularly in the Sheriff Street area. Smith sought to assert his influence in the city center by openly aligning himself with the Kinahan cartel, as the guards intensified their investigation into the attempted hit on Gately, Smith's involvement in criminal activities expanded, including his role in a drug gang in Kulak, North Dublin. Additionally, he acted as muscle for one of the warring factions in Drohoda. Smith maintained close associations with several notorious figures, such as North Dublin mobster Mr. Flashy, his cohort Mohammed Smew, currently serving time for his involvement in the Kinahan plot to assassinate Patsy Hutch, and gangland enforcer Scott Capper. In May 2019, one of the members from Kulak, 22-year-old Sean Little, fell victim to a fatal shooting off the M1 in North County, Dublin. Little was enticed to a meeting on an isolated roadway in Balbriggan, only to meet his demise at the hands of unknown assailants. His lifeless body was discovered near a burning vehicle. 
Little's tragic death heightened tensions, plunging Kulak into a state of warfare and sparking a series of killings throughout 2019, claiming the lives of five men associated with the Kulak gang. Despite his friendship with Little, suspicion quickly fell on Smith in the aftermath of the tragedy. While he joined the victim's grieving father and Hamid Sanambar, an Iranian who had previously worked as Little's driver, at the scene in Walsh's town shortly after Little's murder, Sanambar met a grim fate himself days later. He was gunned down as he visited the family home to offer condolences, with authorities suspecting he was wrongly accused of orchestrating the young drug dealer's involvement in Little's death. Smith found himself in increasingly perilous circumstances as former allies turned against him. In a bold move to proclaim his innocence, he traveled to the UK for a lie detector test, sharing the results on social media. However, despite his efforts, associates of Little remained steadfast in their belief that Smith, motivated by a 200,000 euros debt owed to the Kinahan cartel, was responsible. Among those seeking retribution was Sean's grieving father, Stephen Little, who held Smith accountable for the brutal killing and plotted his demise in retaliation. Detectives from the elite drugs and organized crime unit intervened just in time, apprehending Stephen Little with a powerful G9 semi-automatic pistol. He was subsequently sentenced to six years in prison after openly admitting to possessing the firearm with the intent to kill Smith, lamenting that he hadn't been afforded more time to exact his revenge. Despite facing intense scrutiny, Smith has never been arrested or charged in connection with Sean Little's murder. Following the attempt on his own life, Smith continued to wield influence in the ongoing Kulak feud, maintaining his status as a trusted associate of the Finglas-based drug dealer Mr. Flashy. He became deeply embroiled in the tumultuous events unfolding in Finglas and Clondalkin in 2019. Moreover, alongside his involvement in the feud, Smith was recruited by the Kinahan cartel to carry out the hit on Gately. Despite pleading not guilty, the special criminal court delivered a verdict of guilt beyond a reasonable doubt in February 2021. They determined that Smith had acted as both the driver and the gunman during the attack, branding him a dangerous and merciless criminal. Subsequently, he was handed a 20-year prison sentence, though he brazenly predicted his release shortly after the conclusion of five World Cups. His co-accused, Gary McAreevy, received a four-year sentence with the final year suspended for his role in burning the getaway car. Presently, both Smith and McAreevy are appealing their convictions, contending that certain evidence obtained from phone data was unlawfully acquired, rendering it inadmissible in their trial. The retention and access of mobile phone data under a 2011 Irish law also contested by Graham Dwyer, convicted in 2015 for the murder of childcare worker Elaine O'Hara, formed a crucial part of the legal backdrop. Following his conviction, Smith appeared to grapple with the challenges of adapting to prison life, expressing concerns to the governor of Dublin's Mountjoy prison regarding his isolation for safety reasons. Subsequently, Smith was transferred to Cork prison. However, concerns arose over his perceived influence among inmates there prompting a subsequent relocation to Port Leash Prison. Yet even in Port Leash, Smith persisted in his attempts to establish dominance, leading to clashes with another prominent Kinahan figure, Freddie Thompson. In response to this power struggle, both Thompson and Smith were transferred to separate facilities to forestall further conflict, with Smith returning to Cork. Since his return, Smith has been integrated into the general prison population but remains assessed as being at high risk of assault by fellow inmates throughout the Irish prison system. That wraps up today's discussion. What are your reflections on today's topic? Share your thoughts in the comments and remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel for future content.